Harrison Ralph here with Otterbein TV covering the Otterbein volleyball team who's just coming off a big win in Alliance, Ohio, uh, capping off a season in which they won the OAC title. They went to Mount Union and uh, on Mount Union's home court, they were able to come away with the win and secure their first ever uh, OAC title in, in program history. They will now move to the NCAA tournament where they will face a uh, another familiar opponent in Hope College who they played last year in the first round of the NCAA tournament. They lost that match and uh, their season came to an end. So a familiar opponent, a team that Otterbein uh, has already played this season, just the second match of the season back on August 31st, but Otterbein was swept uh, here in the Reich Center. Otterbein has seen this team before. Um, they've had trouble with this team in the past and we can just hope that uh, the third time's a charm as this will be the third time in the last two years that Otterbein will match up with Hope College. Hope College comes in 28 and four uh, Otterbein comes in 26 and 7, so uh, the record's very similar there. Otterbein played a very tough schedule this season. So right now, as you can see behind me, the Otterbein Cardinals are uh, getting ready to begin their practice. I spoke with Monica McDonald, Evelyn Karras, and Annie Junger before practice. Get their thoughts on not only uh, the matchup coming up against Hope, but also the uh, OAC title victory uh, that they had this past Saturday against Mount Union. You guys just came off of a, of a big win uh, against Mount Union, OAC title. I uh, want to first congratulate you on that. You've been really close you know, to winning uh, uh, the last couple of years, and, and you, you finally broke through. So just talk about uh, that and, and how you guys feel about that win. Yeah, um, it's always been a goal for us to win the OAC title or the regular conference championship. So you know, getting so close, being in the semis the past two years in the tournament, and then for the first time in history, making it to the finals. and to beat them in four on their home court, and that was their first home loss of the season. It was absolutely amazing. It was a great match. Uh, we played with a lot of intensity. We really worked hard the week before the practice and tried to prepare. Um, we were kind of bitter about the loss earlier in the season. Um, we came out just ready to play. We knew what we needed to do to beat them, and it worked in our favor. The program has never played in that game, and uh, to not only get make it that far, but then also take the next step and win it, and our first time ever in on that stage, um, really says a lot for how this team, um, you know, handles the pressure of big games. And you know, I, I really think that's a characteristic of this team. I mean. We've played as tough a schedule um, as we ever have here at Otterbein, and um, you know I don't I don't necessarily think it matters who we play. And actually, sometimes with this team, I feel like the better the opponent, um, you know, the the more ready we are to come out and compete. That's a top 10 team. I mean, they're ranked number 10 in the country, and I think you know in in games two, three, and four um, up there at Mount, you know, we showed that um, you know we can. We can not only play with a team, but we can beat a top 10 team. Um, you know, we have already done that this year, and then we just did it again um, at the end of the season, which means that we're playing really good volleyball right now, um, which is exactly what you want to see as a coach. And you guys, obviously, you beat Mountain Union, but then, you know, you look at the bracket, and, and they seem to have uh, gotten the, the better draw. How do you guys feel about that, and, and is that something that you guys think about? Um, you know, I think it's just important uh, to note that the entire region is strong. Um, that is, there's absolutely no question that we have the strongest regional in the entire country. So the way I look at it is, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to beat two, potentially three, really strong teams to get out of the region. Um, you know, the way we're seated, we're gonna have to beat three strong teams. Some other teams might have a little bit of an easier road, but you know, we're gonna have to play that that tough match regardless. And and honestly, I feel like for this group of girls. Um, you know, like I said, the bigger the match, you know, the, the more, um, you know, excited they are and, and I think the better they play. So I might be a little nervous if I was playing the team that Mount Union was playing because, um, like I said, this team just, you know, they want to beat Hope and I'm excited about that. We have five teams that are ranked in the top 12 in the nation just in this region and, you know, Monica said uh, after we found out the NCAA brackets that, you know, Mount isn't going to get that much of a satisfaction out of their win playing a you know, a random team. And if we beat Hope, we're going to come off of a great high from that, and we're just going to keep using that momentum to keep going on in the NCAA. You're going to be playing Hope now in the first round of the NCAA tournament on Thursday uh, in Michigan. You guys have lost to them already this season. It was, a, I think, a second match of the season. Uh, you guys got swept three sets to none here in the Reich. Um, what do they do that, that, you know, presents such a challenge to you guys? Uh, well, they're all really big hitters. They have really strong offense. Uh, they play a defense that we're not really used to. That kind of... Um, gives us a little bit of a challenge. You know, it's kind of a mental thing. I think we're ready to show that we're not a team anymore that they can sweep in three games. I think we're all really excited to go out on the court and show them how much we've improved. We've improved so much since we played them, like you said, in the second match of the year. We've, 
you know, had huge stepping stones since then. So I think we're ready to show them that, you know, our defense has improved so much, our service eve, our offense, and we're ready to just go in there and show them that we're not someone to mess around with anymore. We were a young team. We lost two of our key seniors and uh, junior last year. Um, we were young. It was our second match of the season. I just think we weren't prepared. I, not that Monica didn't prepare us. I just think we could have been better prepared. Um, we've grown so much as a team in the season. Um, I think as long as we just come out aggressive and stay focused, we can take anybody in this tournament. Their hitters are phenomenal. We're just going to have to come out and play some solid defense. We're going to have to get our hands up on the block. Um, we're just going to have to come together as a total package in, a, in order to beat them. They have one player um, that is, is, you know, very athletic, very physical. They give her a lot of balls, and she's hard to stop. Um, so I think that's one thing that sets them apart. But in watching the film back, the first time that we played them and the second time that we played them, we just didn't pass the ball well. And that's something that we're doing a lot better now than we did at the beginning of the season. We're serving and passing a lot better. Um, so I definitely anticipate a totally different outcome. We're going to serve tough, and that's something that we've done a lot better um, You know, the second half of the year. If we serve tough, we can keep them from running um, an offense that they're comfortable with, keep their setter from being an offensive threat. Um, we're going to put ourselves in a really good situation. Um, the other thing that I, you know, I'm going to tell my kids once again, same thing I told them against Mount Union, like just get ready to play defense. Um, you know, we've played some teams that don't really hit the ball at us. Um, and, you know, you just got to be ready to make a play. You got to be ready to be the hero. And, and I think that's that's what my defenders did up at Mount Union. A couple people that were at the match kind of said, hey, you know, we've never seen you guys play defense like that. Nothing hit the floor. Um, and, you know, now that I now that they know they can do that against, you know, really big, really talented hitters, I think they're going to have a little bit of a different mentality when they face, uh, you know, Jenna Grassmeyer, their stud. and you know, their middles um, and some of, you know, their better attackers that hit the ball really, really hard. All right, thanks, Coach. We appreciate you stopping by, and good luck on Thursday. We'll see you then. Thank you so much, Harrison. Cardinals will square off against Hope College Thursday at 3 p.m. And I'm Harrison Ralph with Otterbein TV. Go Cards.